Hi, I'm Jessica Kayser. I'm a research fellow in the Department of Epidemiology and Preventive Medicine at Monash University, and I'm really pleased to introduce on behalf of my co-authors our paper, Repair of Partly Misspecified Causal Diagrams. Something that statisticians and epidemiologists often do is use data to investigate the relationship between an exposure and an outcome. Something that has often been asked is how should we best select the set of confounders to adjust for in order to unbiasedly estimate that relationship. A simple approach would be to get some subject matter expert to list the set of confounders that they think should be adjusted for. A better approach would be to get that expert to draw a causal diagram representing the causal relationships between the, the variables being considered. Graph theoretic rules can then be applied to that causal diagram in order to determine which set of variables should be adjusted for. The problem is that we're relying on an expert to provide this causal diagram. And although expert opinion is the most valuable tool for the construction of these diagrams, expert knowledge can be imperfect. If an expert provides an erroneous causal diagram, then this can lead to, inv to an invalid adjustment set and inconsistent estimation. So in our paper, my co-authors and I develop a variant of the PC algorithm from the structure learning literature, which helps determine whether or not an expert's diagram is valid for causal inference. We refer to this process as vetting, where the VET in vetting stands for Validation of Expert Topology. Vetting works by constraining this structure learning algorithm to the addition of edges to the causal diagram provided by the expert. In this way, we balance this automated procedure, this structure learning algorithm, with expert knowledge. In our paper, we show theoretically and in a simulation study that vetting confers robustness against certain types of expert errors, the caveat being that only certain types of expert errors can be corrected using the vetting approach. We also apply vetting to an example using data from the Melbourne Collaborative Cohort Study. We provide code and a theoretical appendix online Please get in touch if you have any comments or criticisms about our paper. Thank you.